Not long ago, deep in Shadow Moses Island, a group of drunken misfits joined forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by the boss, and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules of engagement, our heroes venture forth to infiltrate Outer Heaven. So gather up your bandanas, your sneaking suit, and your SOCOM, and join us on a quest to destroy Metal Gear. This is Botched, a tactical espionage podcast. Previously on... Mulked. We already did that. Oh, that was last time. <laughs> there you go. Welcome That's back, good. listeners, to the ninth episode of our seventh season. We're going to start right where we left off last time, as a group of angry people has drawn weapons on Ned and are preparing to murder him. Uh, quick perception check. Is the man sure. in black across the street? Fifteen? Um, You do not see him standing there now. But he might be, because fifteen might be too low. Before you shoot. Or he's just not standing in that spot. Yeah, before you shoot, just let it be known that we've already promised the brothers 60% of our sales, and anyone who kills me owes them. And they all just sort of, they look around. I don't, I don't they really could be know. watching anywhere. I don't really understand how sales work. Future Why? sales. We have a projected spreadsheet in the back. Where we have, uh, but where are the future sales? Yeah, we have exact. We, huh? I'm from the future, so I know what the future sales are. Okay, what? look. Okay, I laid down for all of them. Okay. I was born last week <laughs> as a child, so if you see a child with two people, don't fuck with it because you'll destroy the universe. And after my parents died, an elf, uh, quote unquote, took me in, but. Gave me a very harsh life where I had to beg for table scraps and steal where I could, which is where I learned about turkey milk. But eventually the turkey pox. I persuade. Do we persuade or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, charisma 17. Um, some of the crowd believes your story. Not the majority by yeah. far. Most of the crowd does not But I'm not telling the truth about the brothers. Yes, that part is very easily believed by everybody. Um, your future story, not as much. Yeah, it's, it sounds far-fetched, but when the turkey pox comes, everyone's going to die, and this is the only time that you have to make money. And if you make money, you'll be able to isolate yourself from the plague in the future, which will make you safe and your family safe. Turkey pox ain't real. I believe him. He's a liar. I trust his face. <laughs> Sure. But more importantly, he's got founder's milk. He's a level one founder. This guy right here. What's your name, sir? It's Carl. Carl. You're all right. All he's, right. He's completely covered in blood because yeah. he, he hacked off that guy's head with a We're going to bring knife. you in to the founder's room and everyone else. No. Everyone else. Justice will come and you will receive... The level two package, which you'll be able to sell to everybody below you, three, four, and five, and you're going to have a whole army. Do you see how many people? Look, how many people are outside right now? Like 50 still? 20. 20? 19, because one's dead. Everyone here is going to at least have twice, well, it's exponential, so 20 times 20 is at least going to have 400 people working for them. That's how math works. And you're going to be rich because you're going to skim, and then... We're going to get your cut, and then the brother's going to get our cut, and then Doc Brown is going to own the place. And you're in on the ground floor. The what? rocket's taking off to the moon tomorrow. Roll persuasion again. How's that working out for you? Pretty good. I mean, can I roll a better? <laughs> uh, 15. It's actually not bad. Uh, so two-thirds of the people just say, fuck this, and walk off. But the last third. But one third of them is still standing there. The, so like the ones seven, that were closest to the six door. and a half people stay. Seven. Or? Yeah. All right. I'll give you seven. But we get to keep their entry fee, and it's going to be redistributed about everybody. So if you just have patience, this rocket's going to take off. What's a rocket? This uh, shooting star is going to fly through the sky, 
It's from the rockets are from the future. You'll understand later. But have patience. And am I getting mulked today or not? Getting, you are getting mulked today, sir. All right. Before sun up tomorrow, you will have your mulk, and you'll be ready to sell. All right. I guess we'll come back to fucking tomorrow. And they just wander off grumbling. But angrily. hey, grab grab the numbers on the ground if they're higher than yours, because it's still an important order. They look around. Most of them. They were there in the front, or the ones that were staying there, so not very many of them That's good. get a better number. And Go then the one guy's got Founder's Mulk, he's just like, what do I do? You come inside. Well, okay. He goes inside with you? I bring him in. And he just sees you guys cutting Mulk? Cutting cutting the titty milk? No. We're, no. He sees us cooking. <laughs> So what, okay, in the so meantime, you're showing him the inside baseball. Yeah, he's a founder. He's got founder's milk. In the meantime, heck, I don't think he knows how scams work. So the whole time, heck is putting things in a bag. So this guy still has this idea of mold. Yeah, we we were getting ready to leave in case the mob ripped Ned's yes. head off. Yeah. Okay. So while while this conversation was happening, what's happening inside? <clears throat> Everyone's we're packing, packing up, up all of we our. We were packing. literally trying to clear out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's going down. It's not safe here anymore, Ned. We got to move on. No, I sold it. Uh, yeah, you sold us some time, and I. Uh huh. And for that, brother, I'm gonna sell you uh, a second chance on life. Okay. Who's what your, about this guy? Who, who is this? Oh, my name's Carl. Carl. Carl's all right. Well, I'm a Carl, founder. Carl, please leave. Carl. But I'm a. But I'm a. Carl. I, I, I'm Carl? a founder. Carl. Do you want to come with us please, to kill the kill please. the devil? <laughs> what? Do so you want to come with us to kill the devil? Is this what happens when you take milk? <laughs> Answer the question, Carl. I asked a follow-up question. I drink one of the no, 16 vials. No, it's yes or no, Carl. <laughs> Do you want to come with us to kill the fucking devil? <laughs> and I'm from the future. I don't know. I slap his hand. <laughs> you just broke Pick one, Carl. You just Tick tock. You just broke my founder's milk. Carl, every single breath you draw draws you closer to your inevitable death. He gets, do you want to kill the devil, or do you want to go home and fuck your wife? He ah! gets down on the ground, starts licking up the in mulk with the broken yeah. glass. I, so I guess he wants to fuck his wife because of the, you know, the mulk gives you good cummies. Maybe he he, he just seems sort of like he panicked and you I broke let his him finish. Yeah. Uh, he's bleeding a lot because he, he licked up a lot of broken glass. Well, it's a good thing we're in the doctor's office. That, that The cuts will help him absorb the mulk faster. <laughs> Get sure. right to the bloodstream. It's the yeah. gold schlager of mulk. <laughs> <laughs> it's mulk schlager. <laughs> um, <and> mulk <laughs> schlager. Oh, God, no. Ned explains to Doc Brown that uh, he's only bought him till sunrise, and if he can't sell the mulk... At a sixty percent cut, we are profit. leaving. Yeah, we're leaving. But the, wait, the Doc wait, Brown whoa, lives whoa, here. Whoa, Doc Brown lives whoa, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I feel like we you have, guys no, started on, this not thing, anymore, and now you're leaving me no, with no, the bill. Not, no, no, hold on, hold on. Don't listen to this lunatic. He's got low blood sugar, and he don't know what he's saying. Any more of that raw dough? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've been cutting it. We've been using it to make the the milk. I think you got to come with us, and we got to relocate you. What do you mean relocate me? Like witness protection? Yeah. yeah. What? I, I What'd think, you guys do? It's what we I show him the head. <laughs> what the fuck? This is Jimmy? what they'll do for Founders Mulk. Jesus. We really fucked the dog here, Doc. <laughs> yeah, you did. You we, fucking we gotta did. Go. Jesus. All right, well, let me get my things. But also the brothers are aware of the sales and we need to leave them the money. What money? We didn't everyone, make any money. Everyone here paid 50 gold to come here, right? Carl, give me all your money. Um, yeah, because everyone. Give me your money, uh, Carl. Uh, roll intimidation. Wasn't sorry. Voice and head. Wasn't didn't you say that everybody in the crowd was mad because they spent all of their money on this mulk? Shouldn't they, there be money? There is no money. Willie took some I money. I took a single gold yeah, he, from one guy. Yes. From one guy. Well, yeah. then how does that make sense canonically? If the I'm crowd not. was ready to kill this because they gave writing. all their money, who they give the money it's to? A plot hole. Well, no. Plot hole. The one guy sold his farm to get money for Mulk. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So they hadn't spent it yet. Okay. They were ready to spend it. So they're fine. What are they gonna be mad about? Carl wanted to be a founder. I shouldn't have to intimidate him to give me the money. Yeah, he's he's all the way in on the Kool Aid. Okay. It's literally his Mulk money. Okay. Okay. But I, uh, but I, how am I supposed to sell this? 
You just you you uh, dipped from your own company well, my friend. You broke it. We're, no, we're handing him the rest of the founders malt. He yeah, gets all the all founders 15 malt. Fifteen vials. Fifteen vials. Are we? Uh, <laughs> I, I pull Ned aside. And go, Ned, are we going to be here in the morning to sell the rest of this malt? Are we just going to give think it to Carl, should, take man. all his money so we can skip town? No, we need to skip town because all the, right. the brothers are on to us. Ned, keep your fucking voice down. All right? This is a god whisper. I swear to God, I am going to slap stealth, the stupid off of you, rip. boy. I stealth with an 18 to tell him that. All right, good, good, good. Now, give him the vials, and we're going to take his money, Okay. and we're going to catch the 310 out of Yuma. The 310 to Yuma? No. We're going to catch the 310 to Muma. <laughs> I think you're moving crazy, man. Okay, here. Hey, Carl. Yeah. How much you got? Uh, well, I got 50 gold on me. Hell yeah. I have the opportunity of a lifetime. We've done all the advertising. There's signs up in the window. Seven people are coming back. Here's the pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> I, sh I show them the, the inverted funnel. Sure. Idea that we created with founders one through five. Uh-huh. And how that... Uh, sixty percent of the money goes to the brothers, uh -huh. and that if he just does it, he'll be able to make money, and keep cutting the milk with peyote, <laughs> with peyote and, and dough yeast. Okay, here's the whole business. Um, all right, fifty gold. We we got we got go. The whole business. Do I get the building too? Yeah, Doc. Do you have a deed? Yeah, it's worth a lot more than fifty fucking gold. Well, okay, you can stay and keep the building then yeah uh, which you're so wait for? who gets the 50 gold then uh, you can have I, it i think bessie may <laughs> i mean technically it's all bessie's milk in my building how much was how much did we pay for the photo uh he technically took it out of your medical bill and how much was the medical bill uh, was let's, it let's not bring that it was like 20 up. something uh, it was a total of like 60 but he kept it was a it total down. of i gave him these milkies yeah so yeah. it would have been 60 and then he did the milkies Milkies, and then he also did the advertisement. So, so, so the doc gets fifty no, minus that's, 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 minus the ad money. Then is what I'm hearing. I, all I'm hearing is you got you're giving Bessie May's money away. I did make this milky. You in did. My tummy okay, money. I'm I'm out of the negotiations. You, you guys... made that milky to pay off a medical debt. Correct. Yeah. So that fifty gold is mine. Yeah, but the advertisement was worth something. You're saying. I tell you, you what. No, no, doc. You're absolutely right. Take all the money that we made from this. I'm with you. I'm going to go get yes. our horses, and uh, I'll get everything ready. Why don't you just sign the paperwork, and I'll bring your horse old... Um, yep. I'm going to sign over the entire business no. to the doc. Yes. Yes, correct. No. Yeah. I'm signing the, yep. the building over to the guy. You're selling the business to call. Okay. No, but you said you're staying back with your building. No. So. I just said I'm selling no. the building. I'm not giving it away. Okay. Well, you work that out. I thought you said it was fifty gold was not enough, but now it is. It's all you got. It is all he's got, Carl. Right? We went over this, Doc. Why? Uh, why this sudden change of heart? Stop waffling, Doc. No one likes a flip flopper. Just give me the goddamn fifty gold so I can get out of here. Yeah. Okay, Carl, give him the money. Let's cut that money with smaller <laughs> <money>. with some <laughs> coal. <laughs> Carl gives him the fifty gold. Okay. Here's Time to collect some coins, fellas. Gets fifteen vials. Here's the pyramid scheme. Twelve vials and the house deed. Okay. Doc quickly loads up his horse and with what few possessions he has. <laughs> <laughs> and then heads over to the casino to probably give some of it to the brothers. Yep. Sixty percent. Well, I uh I really gold. hope that I never see any of you ever again. Wait, you're not coming? I with thought us? we were gonna No, I'm not fucking going with you guys. Why? You literally you showed up last night. And I'm already out of my business and out of my building. I've, well, been, was... I've been set up here for 30 years, and you fucked it up in one night. Oh, I don't see why you're leaving if you're not coming with us. Because they're going to kill me when they show up tomorrow. Well, who's going to protect you better than us? Not you. <laughs> I don't trust you guys to protect we me. We fought off a purple <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? I got a brain I got brain. You got spiders. a brain worm? Is that what you got? Brain spider. You got a brain purple worm? <laughs> It was great to meet you. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> he just leaves. I feel like he's not grateful. <laughs> he's not one of the grateful eight. <laughs> Willie. Yeah. Can we make 
a group Ooh, uh, rule that we don't invent multi-level marketing scheme businesses <laughs> by ourselves without group approval while we're drunk now in a criminal casino listen <laughs> It didn't work the first time, but it could work the second Especially time. Especially when they involve my tit juice. <laughs> <laughs> now look, Bessie Mae, I know you're upset, but I have this opportunity <laughs> that you might be interested in. Chicken farming. <laughs> I've I fed this burb, chickens. Uh-huh. A whole lot of <laughs> <laughs> peyote eggs. Peyote. <laughs> I'm uh, he is. voice and head. Can I look at the chickens and and like see what he looks like right now? <laughs> He's tripping balls. What is what did you do to that bird, Willie? I pumped him full peyote. of not one but two full peyote uh, uh, fleshes uh, um, pumpkins. That's more than his weight <laughs> yeah. in peyote. Well, he's he's sixty percent peyote now, but Swall. listen. He's gonna, in about a week or so, poop out psychedelic <laughs> eggs. Psychedelic quail eggs. Now, now, once those eggs come out, full of the sweet peyote nectar infused with them eggs, we can pickle them, right? It's like those coffee beans that those cat shit out. I, you, I mean, so you're you're yeah. already familiar. So yeah. all I need from you Chickens is fifty eggs. gold. To help get <laughs> Chickens is a guy. I don't have fifty gold, Willie. I just need fifty gold as like a down payment as like a sponsor to get this off the ground. See? To get chickens in You're the rehab. You're already thinking about it. I'm an ideas man. I oh um I look at chickens. We should do this on the road. As we're walking. That bird's gonna die. He's not gonna die. <laughs> chickens He's gonna die great. so hard. And then I look at Heck. You can't die from psychedelics. And then I look that at chickens. Bird can. <laughs> it's not true. And then I look at Heck. And I say, Willie. Yeah. What, what if you made some kind of cyborg psychedelic chicken to save the world? Oh, man. I mean, I, I don't have the tools, but let me write this down. Heck, Heck. Ned. Yeah? Ned? Yeah? Ned. Yeah? Are you sure that you want to save the world? Because you seem to be fucking over a lot of people. Those are just individuals. Statistically, yeah, you... I think I've, people are safer because of my decisions. Ned. You yeah. do leave a lot of chaos in your wake for a servant of justice. Roll? Yeah. Perception. Oh, that's not great. Ten. Okay. You just notice a wagon rolling into town as you guys are heading out. But you didn't notice anything special about it. Shit. Look, justice has many forms, okay? <laughs> what is in law in a lawless oh. land? The the gnome was gonna infect people and many would die. And Doc Brown was a people dick. were dying there. People were dying at Doc Brown's I mean, and now he, he doesn't have a doctor's office anymore. He was an alcoholic. He was drunk and the guy before me died. He, he is an alcoholic. He didn't die. He died inside. He didn't die. I feel like he died. He didn't die. A lot of people, there were body parts there just were. sitting in there. They were in Losing a, a friend is a lot like a death. Okay. The average friendship only lasts for 10 years. And we didn't really kill anybody in this village. Not by our own hand. And they're all criminals. So there's really nothing corporally I could do to them that would be bad. Crime is only what the law says crime is. But if you're in a lawless town, then what is crime? You have to follow your yeah, heart. Yeah, they were all law-abiding citizens. And in There's my, no laws here. In my heart, Elvish In fact, law. I would say that you broke law by trying to enforce it. Oh. Oh, shit. True. Oh, what does shit. that statement do to Chickle? Oh, shit. <laughs> Chickle. <laughs> His eyes just start spinning around. Yeah. Chickens is doing pretty all right. Yeah, Has he thrown up? Yeah. How, when did he start hallucinating? <laughs> oh, he's been hallucinating for a while. Okay. Has he thrown up yet? No, he's actually handling Peyote it very team well. Peyote team makes you throw up. He <sighs> is not. He's holding it. He rolled very high for his con. Mm. Okay. It is unpleasant. You didn't give him tea. You just gave him straight peyote. Uncut. Concentrate. <laughs> 
Okay, okay, heck, if there's, oh boy, um, if there's no laws in a lawless land and trying to impose order upon chaos is, oh, illegal, what do you suggest I do with my life because my parents are dead? There he goes, trying to guilt everybody into his dead pa parents. <laughs> I got an idea. Maybe try to make everyone else's lives better. Or can And I... also kill Smiling Tom. You could kill everyone else's parents so you... everyone starts out on the same foot. You <laughs> no, Willie, 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 Willie. <laughs> Sorry. Don't no, my that was creepy. It was... A... It was... His laugh came out of nowhere. That was like a third personality. To have. The Joker? What? The Choker. The Choker. <laughs> Make everyone's Joker. lives better, but kill. He murdered his parents. Yeah, it's smiling like it strangled Tom. them. <laughs> Ned. Yeah? Right now is the perfect time for self-improvement. Uh-huh. Do you... What is self-improvement, Milky Man? I can teach you, Ned. I can teach you <laughs> so that you won't have to pay other people to kill anyone for you ever again. Do we need you to become the night, Ned. Oh, wow. I love nighttime. It's so peaceful. Yeah, it's real quiet. Good for punching. Wait. Okay. You teach me to move about the shadows? Yeah. To do other Batman Begins quotes that I can't remember off the top of my head? First, I have to teach you how to punch. Bessie, are you trying to say that it's not who you are underneath, but what you do that defines you and that people need dramatic examples to shake them out of apathy and I could be that example I'm just gonna teach you how to punch people man yeah okay I'm in <laughs> alright I try to punch his fist like, not like, like that bro bump. oh wow that's no. that's a lot of keratin you got there <laughs> okay so can you take your face off heck that's out of left field. I mean, technically, she's I'm not talking to you, voice and hand. Modular, so. I can, actually. That's wicked. I tried to do that, too, when I was younger. Is I that how you got those I scars? I have the scars. Chickums is going to try to take his face off if you give him any more peyote. <laughs> nah, we got to wait for him Squawk. to chill out and throw up. Have you thought about trying to exchange your face with Chickums' face in some kind of face off? <laughs> well, I mean. Place your nose it, with it would face. it would take some of the heat off old Willie if he didn't have the same face. <laughs> They'll never suspect a bird did it. Turkey if I if I wanted to commit a bunch of crimes, I could just put I'm, Chickum's face on. I'm not. I'm not. He's got a tiny bird face on the end of his nose. I'm imagining Chickum's with a dangling dwarf face hanging off of it. Just sagging <laughs> over his little canary body. Yeah. He's, got, he's got like a bandana of dwarf skin. Yeah. <laughs> Put a rubber band in the back of that thing. It'll be perfect. It's fine. So, like, you're just like, beep, boop. Oh, I'm sorry. That was probably offensive. You can, like, can you, like, skeet, skeet. do things that, like, are you, I, I don't know much about. Scout Can we talk road. about this on the road? We're we on the road. We're walking we're to the horses. Going to the oh, exit I we point. Were I'm sorry. I thought we were still in the doctor's office. Are we at the horses? We can continue. You guys, you guys eventually walk over to the stables where your horses are. And, uh, yeah, just a couple gold. Yeah, I flip him uh, that gold. Thank you. You're welcome. Gives you a, Gives the horse a loving pat on the butt. Anybody come in here recently through town? I mean, I was waiting for a friend to come through in like a wagon. We well, yeah, wagon just pulled in. What would that wagon look like? Well, it's right over there. I look. It looks like uh, wait, well, yeah, that's farm. That's Farmer George's wagon. He said he was getting new stock in. What's he do? I, well, Farmer <laughs> George. <laughs> Uh, he's a farmer. Specializing in livestock. What kind of livestock? <laughs> well, he, he, he was doing sheep, but they yeah. kind of all died, so he said he was going to go in a different direction. What, what, how'd they die? 
I think he ate them. Oh, that's that's neutral. Yeah. What kind of new livestock? I don't know. He said he was going something new. I, he didn't tell us. He said it was a surprise. Oh shit. <laughs> What's it smell like? <laughs> uh, roll perception. I perceive with the fifteen. It smells like bird shit. What kind of turkey shit outfit is this? <laughs> 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 Did you guys know there's there's turkeys in the wagon next next to us? I know, but we can't pay it no attention. It's definitely a wagon full of turkeys. Heck. Yes. I mean, you've turned my idea of justice upside down in these past five minutes by asking me a question about my life that I hadn't reflected upon. If you knew that something really bad was going to happen in the future... And then it was caused by uh, chickens, and you saw a wagon load of chickens. What would you do? I would not assume that those were the chickens that would cause it. Huh. But what if you were wrong? Could you live with yourself? Probably. <laughs> those aren't chickens, they're turkeys. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Idiot! Ned! Ned! Uh, yeah. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... When they're talking, I'm gonna scoop up all chickens. Uh, you gonna scoop up chickens? Yeah, because he can't fly. Oh, no. Chickens yeah. is laying on his back. Yeah. Just... Right. <sighs> blah, blah. Okay. Red eagle. Yeah. What kind of question is that? Spread sparrow. He said he was laying on his back. Inappropriate. <laughs> what? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tend to my bird as these two have a, their conversation about turkeys. Squawk. Oh, here, eat a Cheerio. It's gonna make you feel better. It does feel better. <laughs> Is he gurgling? Chicken's <laughs> oh, no. about to join the Twenty Seven Club. <laughs> Get out of here! He's Ned. choking on his own Cheerio. What the fuck is Ned, instead of point? devoting your entire life to massacring an entire species of animal, yeah. why don't you attempt to try and find the source of the problem? My parents? Well, that is for most people the source of the problem, I hear. No, I mean the source of your turkey pox. Not turkeys. Not uh. turkeys, Ned. The disease. Uh. Ned, didn't you tell me that it came from a lab in Muhan? <laughs> and Sir. Now, it was... <laughs> 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 I mean, <sighs> the elves took me to the farm, and that's where it had an outbreak. So I should burn down elvish farms? No, that no, no. <laughs> that, okay. In fact, that's elvish. not what I'm really saying. Really close to genocide, man. <laughs> no. Or is it because I grew up parentless in a loveless home? That's probably why. Yes. Controlled by an elvish kung fu master who made me brutally. Starve until I stole. Yes, that's abuse. Uh huh. That, that just sounds like parenting. Um. Well, I am never more happy that I don't have parents until I talk to you guys. Wait, you don't have parents? Well, not in the traditional sense. How, how did you come to into being? I was created. But like an artificer. Something like that. War wizard. War wizard? Yeah. Okay, um... A whiz ward. Wow. A um, whiz ward. So I need, I need to find the... <laughs> the truth within myself. That's what I'm hearing. Um... Okay. I'm gonna bring chickens over to the turkey truck. Okay. It was easier when I had a... As Ned is... Looking inwards, and Willie is taking his drugged-up bird over to some other birds. 
Uh, we're going to take a break. Hello, listeners. It is I, Dennis, the world's most okayest DM, here to talk about patreon.com slash botch podcast. Now, I know you're probably asking, Dennis, what do I even get with patreon.com slash botch podcast? Well, from all the way as, as low as a dollar a month, we'll read your name out when you sign up at the end of the show. You know, whatever weird name you have, we'll read it. Uh, all the way up to being crowned God King. And that also includes things like art and joining a bi-weekly game with some of the botch crew. But mostly, the biggest perks, I would argue, are the Discord because of the awesome community that we have. And also the bi-weekly episodes that come out. The bonus episodes where you get little one-offs and things like that. So this month is no different. We have another little one-off for you. And it's October, so obviously it's going to be a little spoopy. We have a new tradition where Philip does our spoopy episodes. And this is no different as he has done this particular month's Patreon extravaganza. So let's take a listen to a little clip. You know what, my dude? All right, I'm going to get in the car. And You're not in the car already? I thought I'm, you loaded your, your food yeah, in. Yeah, my food's in. I'm just getting in. Close the door. Ka-chunk. Okay. Um, I don't know why text- you need to make that sound effect every time you get in the car. The <sighs> yeah. door makes it. I thought, I thought you were in the theater. <laughs> I, I am, but... Did never break character. Didn't anyone, like... I haven't broken character. Not in 15 oh, years. Were you Hamlet? Right now I am. Make name name one line from Hamlet. Horatio. I knew him. Uh, yep, Horatio. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, hornblower. Alas, Horatio Hornblower. Dennis, I blew him. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Dennis, hi low. Get thyself to a nunnery. How about that? Yep. Get myself to a nunnery. Get thyself. Get the get, get, get the, the, get the, get the, get the Dennis Hilo. Uh, different play though. Give me to be or not to That's be. That's Hamlet. Dennis Hilo. I uh, well. the shrew. I could be wrong. Dennis, you are so always in character that you are wearing <laughs> your Hamlet costume. He's the, yeah. He's got the puffy arms. <laughs> yeah. and the puffy I have a fake, and have a fake skull in my backpack. Yeah. Nice. Fake. And makeup. Yeah, well, you'd be... We should clip that for uh, Krugs. That's just the tip of the iceberg, my friends. So if you want to check out the rest of that episode, as well as the hundreds of hours of other episodes we have over on Patreon, head on over to www.patreon.com slash botched podcast and subscribe today. All right, back to the show. And we're back. What are you doing, Willie, with your drug? I want to have chickens to introduce to other birds. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they can become friends You, you and think talk that, about bird things. Okay. So I've got chickens like under my my arm, kind of like a turkey, uh, like a chicken, <laughs> like you hold a chicken. Squawk. <clears throat> and I'm just making sure that his he's he, if he's gonna puke, he ain't gonna choke on it like sure. Jimi Hendrix. Sure. Squawk. Squawk, indeed. And I'm gonna <clears throat> like kind of simba him into the truck so that he can be surrounded by these other birds. <laughs> Uh, roll a dex check, Willie. You're gonna kill him. <laughs> Those turkeys haven't been fed in three days. <laughs> the turkeys and chickens are fucking little raptors. Seven. Uh, yeah, they fucking just chomp, and they chomp down on. Uh, Why would they do that? His legs. <laughs> because they're fucking vicious birds. They are not vicious birds. <laughs> These are. <gasps> Do I why, see that? Hold on. Then why are they in an open wagon? Why are they not in cages? <laughs> They're in an enclosed wagon. It's got, like, bars. Oh, I didn't... Okay. I thought you, it was, like, a covered wagon, like you were taking... A covered cage wagon. Yeah. I mean, on, you, re, you put the bird into the... Well, I know, but I figured it, when you said a wagon, I thought it was, like, a Oregon Trail covered wagon with an open back, and, like, I didn't realize there was a cage in the back of it. Uh, okay. If I may, sure. Best no, way. your best. The, go- the, yeah. g- the Google search "Do turkeys bite?" returns the following result: <laughs> Turkeys follow a strict pecking order and are known to attack birds and even people they deem mm-hmm. subordinate, especially during the mating season. <laughs> people who have suffered turkey attacks recommend not looking birds in the eye. Okay, uh, so currently uh, a turkey. Has chickens by the leg. Chickens. Well, no, the whole all of chickens all, in its mouth. He's holding part of it. Now he's... Willie's still got chickens in his hands, so that it's like sort of split between the two. I'm gonna strength with one hand on chickens, so I don't lose chickens. Sure. And I'm gonna bash that turkey's brains in. <laughs> okay. With my other hand. Sure. 
Well, right? not bash it in, but like give it a big a bonk, a bonk on the brain, <laughs> a, a death bonk. bonk. Okay. Not Bring a it death along, bonk. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Best of my roll for the turkey. Okay. <laughs> the turkey rolled an eight. Okay. Strength. Yeah. yeah. What's the strength of a turkey? Twenty. It's not great. Uh, yeah, you you easily take. Uh, Check him's away as you bonk it on the head, dealing one damage to the turkey. Uh, yeah, I don't want him dead. It's yeah. It, it looks stunned and just sort of goes back into the cage. Ah. Pissed. Pissed. How's, how's my chickums? Uh, chickums, the eyes are super wide because he was in the middle of hallucinating and then you, he was suddenly in the throat of a bird. So he is- Oh, I have triggered a bad he's trip. He's having a bad trip. Okay. A real bad trip. Is he puking yet? Squawk man. I'm a squawk man. Yes. He starts vomiting profusely. Cloaca? Uh how would he vomit out of his cloaca? Anal vomiting? I don't know. It's a real thing. It's just shitting. Um That's that's good. That's the effect. It's called deep vomiting. (laughs) Willie, uh roll me perception check. Nineteen. You notice that the bird that you bonked. And all the turkeys just slow turn in your direction. And they're just, they're not doing anything. They're all just staring at you. How is chicken? And they're all very quiet. I'll give them the middle finger. (laughs) Take that, you godless, boneless birds. I'll see you in heck. Speaking of heck. Wait a minute. Somebody walks around and says, what are you doing with my turkeys? Oh, I was trying to introduce my chicken to your turkeys because I, I thought they'd be friends, but no, I didn't know. turkeys are vicious. You gotta watch out. That. I've never met a turkey before. Why would you think they'd be friends? Well, because chickens is a friendly canary. Look how friendly those eyes are. Those are two different types of birds. What? Okay. <laughs> that doesn't mean they speak the same Just language. Just you got it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you are you fluent in, in turkey? Do you speak all the you know you humanoid speak, languages? Yes, all of them. Common and undercommon. There's more than that. <laughs> no, nah, there isn't. How about elves? Have you been you to speak Jersey? Elvish? Have you been to Jersey? I have not. It's new I for uh, uh, no. How about draconic? Yeah. You, that's not one of the two you listed. I, I you cut me off. <laughs> I wasn't done. I speak all. I speak. I'm a polymath. I'm a polymath. I don't, glutton. I don't know if any of those words actually mean what you think they mean, or if they mean I anything. I get sexually aroused by numbers. Is All that right. what that means? <laughs> I don't know. But I. Oh, it's pan. Just, he likes cummy nummies. Just stay away from the turkeys, man. <laughs> I made, hey, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Which was talking to you, and I, I, I turn around and walk away. Don't listen to him. Is he still puking? Do you yeah. want to pet my bird? Well, fuck your bird. I know. I would never. Is that I what would... you do? Is that why these these turkeys <laughs> are so plump and vibrant? Their feathers are so chic and, st- and look great. You keep this up. I want, you keep this up. I'm gonna unlock the cage. <laughs> I'm walking. They got their eye on you. I'm walking. You know turkeys. They can smell for miles. Turkeys never forget. <laughs> turkeys never forget. Should I do some sort of con save? <laughs> sure, Ned. <laughs> Actually got a fifteen. It's pretty good. Yeah, you're fine. You're a little little rattled by the Turk. The Turk. Turkey Turk. Heck, but, the turkeys uh, have his scent. But they do have his scent. I don't know what to do. Just breathe. Uh, what we should do is really this how close is the sun to coming up? It just set. Okay, good. We need to we need to get out of here. You notice? I that. hop on Dale Donuts the third. All right, you hop on Dale uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I get on running. Hopper, head. dude. Sure, you guys get My on. My world horses. is shattered. Sugarfoot. Where are you guys heading? Wherever Heck is, because Heck has the answers. We're gonna Heck, heck what's the what's the next town on the wheel? Is I mean, you're talking d- about big towns. Or you're talking about little towns, because little towns aren't heck. on the map. What's the next small town? Small towns aren't listed on the map. Only the big cities. Right, so I'm asking you. Oh, well, you don't know. You're not from here. 
Does anyone smell hill dwarves in the distance? <laughs> Uh, what, what does I wait, is this going to be your new obsession? Breath for a three. I mean, you guys killed those hill dwarves. No, those were mountain dwarves. Those were mountain oh, dwarves. that's right. I'm that's a right, hill that's dwarf. Right. What's that? What's that supposed to mean? I, what? Anybody smell hill dwarfs in the distance? An out of character question. I'm gonna learn more about your people and your backstory, because <laughs> you're an interesting. Oh, that's right. People, what time of the year is it? I mean, it's turkey mating season, <laughs> so it's fall. That's what Let's it go with like. fall Spring. in the desert, which pretty much looks like the same as every other time. Is my hometown anywhere near here? Uh, no, define near, <laughs> get there by next couple episodes near. No, you're not from the West. None of you are from originally from has the he, West. Has he ever heard of hill dwarves in the West? Is there any hill dwarf encampments in the West? Um, Mesa dwarves. You don't know about encampments, but they're probably. I'm sure there are hill dwarves mixed in with the regular population. Probably Dune around dwarves. the ones with caves. So probably Eastwood, Sergio, Morricone, Winchester, and Yuma. They probably all have hill dwarves there. Oh, uh, we should go to one of those. Along with mountain dwarves. Uh, Eastwood would be, uh, yeah, Eastwood would probably be the biggest of would those. Would that be East? Sergio and Morricone are the smallest. Uh, Eastwood is northeast. Sergio is northwest. Dear Morricone Sergio. is way northwest, but you would be passing through Unforgiven to get there. Oh, no. There's also the the rail line also goes to all those places. Ooh. That's a good hook. The fact that it exists. Why don't we take a train ride? I love trains. Now, the train is not uh, typically... I think they do have a couple of passenger cars, but for the most part, it's heavily guarded because that's how they deliver all of the... Uh, um, Smiling Tom. Smiling Tom oh. stuff. Why would you give us that hook oh. and then tell us no? Oh, I didn't say yeah. you couldn't. I'm just giving you <laughs> well, a warning. We probably don't want to get around Smiling Tom shit right now. Correct. I mean, you can sneak on there. Yep. We could. <laughs> I'm trying to be conservative in my play. The I'm trying to not make bad decisions. Stop encouraging me. <laughs> I'm giving you options. He says it's possible. You're giving me dumb options. Shut up, voice. You're giving us a trap. <laughs> Just like Tombstone. I mean, we could take the three town to Yuma. We're in Yuma. No, no we're no. in Tombstone. In Tombstone. Tombstone. I'm pretty sure we're in Yuma. Yuma is southwest. It's a three town. History check. Technically, Three. the next stop We're on the train, in Yuma. I told if, you're, you. if you're going in the wrong direction, would be Yuma. Oh, man. I, 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 the, the first syllable sounds the same. Yuma, tombstone. I get it. Tuma. It's not a Yuma. Yuma. <laughs> sure. Not, Let's go to Eastwood. Okay. So you guys ride northeast. Uh, as you guys are heading out of town, you notice that uh, that gentleman that Willie and Ned have seen before... The slender uh, gentleman with the black... Man? Nope, he's a slender gentleman. Uh, black trench coat and thin-brimmed uh, black hat gives a subtle little tip of the hat. I tip his hat back. Well, yeah. you notice the doc goes the opposite direction as you guys. You know that guy, Ned? I met him in the street, and I offered him a cut of the business that we sold. What the fuck, Ned? <laughs> we sold it. It's not our problem anymore. We're not in the town, and we, it, I mean. He knows your face now. I'm a different man now. Okay? But your face isn't. <laughs> We're going to have to do We're going to take your face off. Look. That's he all doesn't way. know my face. That's why I wear a hood. I don't, I don't even know who I am anymore. This is all, this is all new to me. I'm coming. Oh, man. This, uh, I want to find my parents now. Is that something we can do? You can try and search for your parents. Sure. Um, I think that might help me. I thought so, too. Don't worry, Ned. Your I'm... identity crisis will be over as soon as I teach you how to pound meat with those dick skinners. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two different people um, trying to tell me how to live my life, and I here, love it. take some peyote. You... Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I've, got... I've got two parental figures. This is wonderful. You teach Clowns me how to punch. You. Joker's on the right. You teach me how to think. 
rationally with my brain and not lock gnomes in the basement <laughs> because of turkeys. Ned, roll me a history check, check to try and... Because your, your memories are a little fuzzy. <laughs> Fuck except yeah. for the ones that you're obsessed with. Fuck yeah, history check. Uh, straight 19 on the die, which is a 19. Okay. So you, you have a couple of flashbacks as you, you seem to recall oh. uh, being a small child and your, your parents talking to you about where they grew up. Uh, and you're, you seem to recall a specific piece of information where your dad talked about being a miner in Sergio before, um, not long after you were born, then they left. To, to start a new life as farmers. Um, voice and head, I actually have a plus five in history because I took it. Yeah. So 24. Same so just Sergio, got it. Yeah. So that is... Nice, good to know. Yeah. Let me keep that to myself. Sure. Because you were born a week ago, is that what you said? I think according so. According to your timeline? I mean, according to the... We're on episode nine, so the how, has it been a week since we got here? Yeah. Yeah, I was born a week ago. It's been a week. Yeah. Maybe even two weeks. Sure, it's been a few weeks. But we're headed. We're headed to Tombstone, Eastwood, Eastwood. Eastwood. So you guys are riding towards Eastwood. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> After TPK, I'm go. <laughs> I'm going to find my parents. Turkey party kill. Turkey party kill. <laughs> Turkey guys- fuck kill. So are you guys just riding all the way to Eastwood, or are you going to make any stops along the way to like camp overnight? Like, what is your plan? Who needs to sleep? I do. I'm a human. Mm. <laughs> Hell. Well, I mean, we could hitch his his uh, horse to our horse as he takes a little siesta. Sure. And I can just be meditating. Yeah. Heck, don't need to sleep. No. What about I you? I love sleeping. You do? You need to sleep? Yeah, I, I'm a big boy. I need my rest. If Otherwise, I don't get my 12, I ain't happy. He can't make more milk? Well, I think I just suffer a level of exhaustion. Oh, there's also if I don't if sleep. Don't sleep, I'm not down for that. That's fine. We can stop for the two of you. Okay, so you're just gonna set up camp. Mm-hmm. We are okay. going to scout a very secure place. Um, to set up camp. <laughs> when you say very secure place, are you talking about like just in the middle? Easily of like defendable a rock cluster, like one of. It's pretty flat, so there's no like high ground or anything like that. But you do see some rocky outcroppings here and there that you you know you could probably you know either camp on top of a rock or in between some rocks. A place where there's limited avenues of approach. Mm. That's going to be tougher to find out in the middle of nowhere. You get an ambush in that. <laughs> <Says tennis. laughs> um. That's a low roll. So this would... looks good, and I just fall off my horse and go right to sleep. Higher low heck. <laughs> Hi. You know what? You find a place. You find a cave. Uh, it's not a big cave, but it's a small cave. It only has one entrance, um, one exit. So one way in, one way out. And uh, it does have like a tree kind of in front of it. So you just kind of happen to notice it as you were riding by. So it's not easily seen so somebody would probably have to be really looking for it in order to spot it it looks like at some point a creature had held up in here for a while uh, but it doesn't appear as though anything's been in here in a long time so seems safe it's a small cave is it is it is it a cave arillo or more like a cave at <laughs> uh, i would say cave at okay yeah how do you guys feel about this place I'm already inside sleeping. Uh, I, I'm really tired, but I could sing a song for us to help us cool down. Oh, well, how's Chickums looking? Has his fear feathered out? Uh, Chickums just has some crusted vomit around his uh, beak, uh, and he's just eye twitching. How long has it been? It's been a few hours. I need to know exactly how long it's been. Uh, it's been about four hours. Okay. He's still in the, He's still in the grips. <laughs> I mean, he just had a near-death experience again. Well, He's, he's already... probably at peak right now. Okay. Or getting close to it. Yeah, he's... I mean, mescaline lasts for about 
eight to 15 hours. That's way too long. Uh, okay. It's way too long. I don't want it. Please never give that to me. Do canaries even live that long? Oh, yeah. Surprisingly. <laughs> this is Chickums number four, but I mean, that's... What? Yeah, I mean, I've had a couple huh? of these. Was one of them a turkey? No, none of them were turkeys. It's like they a just pet make, on the Simpsons. They just keep, you know, falling asleep forever Still in the cage. Yeah. <laughs> take a nap and don't wake back up. Yeah, they take uh, caps and cave siestas, and they just, they're lazy. Sure. So I got new ones. So Willie and Heck aren't going to sleep, everyone else is. I have to meditate. Yeah. You have to meditate, okay. Yeah, I'm going to power down. Okay, but you're but not aware. not fully. Yeah, okay. Yes. Let me perception check, Heck. I had a friend named Rambling Bob. <laughs> he used to steal Gamble and Rob. 14. Okay. He thought he was the smartest guy around. Are you going to sleep, Ned, or sinking? I don't know. I'm what singing you're myself to sleep. Okay, you do. When he you get to the last he... verse of. Yadi yo today. He. <laughs> uh, heck, your your sense just give you a little bit of alert. You hear a lot of small ruffling commotion outside of the cave and approaching. It what it it seems like they're trying to be quiet, but also quick, like moving quickly in your direction. Um, heck is going to like continue to appear to be in rest mode. Okay. Um, but I am going to ready an Eldritch Blast. Okay. So you're ready an Eldritch Blast, and you notice that mm-hmm. uh, there is a large shadow looming in over the entryway of the cave uh, from the light that's coming from outside the cave. And coming over the side and into the entrance, you notice a large cluster of turkeys. And these turkeys <laughs> have like what appears to be like Red paint made so underneath progress. their eyes. Down, <laughs> down, and they're, to they're just standing. Down. They're standing at the doorway, and they're oh, oh, and they, they look like they're just surveying the cave, and their eyes rest. Now, heck, you're you're paying a little attention. You're still like pretending to be asleep, but you notice that their eyes immediately settle on Willie, and each <laughs> <laughs> each of them. Oh, oh, oh. And then they just slowly start to, like, shuffle quietly into the cave, making their way towards me. Heck, what are you doing? You feel uh, like, yeah, I'll just blast these turkeys. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's a 16? Oh, yeah. You're going to hit the turkeys. Oh, yeah. Okay. What kind of Dude. energy is coming out of that Eldritch Blast? Ne- is it a necrotic? Wait, are you- Eldritch Blast is force energy. Force energy. Yeah. Has Heck sold their soul to a higher evil power that I have just believed their story? <laughs> I'm sleeping. Um, that's 12 damage. Okay. Uh, Heck fires off a shot. It is very, very loud. It will definitely wake everybody up uh, as this blast of eldritch energy fires out the end of the gun and takes out uh, one of the turkeys just completely eviscerating it. To which the turkey, the turkeys are no longer quiet. They are in an uproar and a frenzy. One action before combat? Sure. I rage! Oh. I think that's a bonus action. It is a bonus action. I mean, but that's fine. You can... I'm raging, okay. and I take out my war pick. I take out my pick. Okay. Ned? I don't want to go down, down to Goblin Town. <laughs> Yo ho, my lad! I shoot. Okay. I fire at one of the turkeys. With, I mean, a motherfucking twenty-five. Sure. Yeah, it's definitely gonna hit. Max damage for a twelve. Uh, yeah. Sorry, you, eleven. You completely, uh, just annihilate this turkey. You oh, hit, well, I realize you, now that I could have ran in and chopped one up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you so the bullet hits the turkey in the shoulder region and the the neck is just sort of dangling off the side as it just falls over lifeless. Um Besame. I am going to cast darkness <gasps> centered on the turkeys. Okay. Now we can't shoot them. So no one can see, <laughs> right? They can't see either. 
<laughs> so, 40 <okay>. chess boys. <laughs> All right, you cast darkness on the turkeys. <laughs> yeah. So no one can see anyway. Should have ran up and attacked before Bessie May yeah. did that. <laughs> oh, right. shit, I can see. Heck can in magical darkness. Yeah. Fuck Devil's yeah. sight. Okay, so you can see in magical darkness? Yeah. I can ma- see in both magical and non magical darkness from okay. to a distance yeah. of 120 feet. <clears throat> Only right. non magical light can't illuminate oh. the darkness. So magical light can't see in it, yes. Okay. So heck can see, but nobody it's else can. Devil's sight, not light. Get wrecked. I'm agreeing with you that you can see. Okay. We're on the same side. Same <laughs> yes. team, bro. Yes. Hard to tell from Cassie. Heck is a war bot, so they're allowed to be aggressive constantly. Yeah. That's true. Uh, all right. So roll me initiative. 16. Critical 20. You can't crit on initiative. I got a 20. <laughs> I don't. Add your decks. Hey, since they're not. I got a 22. Since they're not sponsoring anymore, these I fucking hate these dice. Oh, they they <laughs> crit all the time for me. I love them. Oh, they roll well, but like I can't read them for fuck. Uh, Ned, what'd you get? Sixteen. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I meant uh, Best Buy and Heck. Oh, I'm gonna roll my 35 millimeter stainless steel die. Ooh. Wow, that's big. Oh shit, that almost fell on my nuts. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> that would have been a bad one. day. That's a 21. 17. 22. I guess uh, I'm just old. I don't yeah. know. I guess I would Will give... you fucking read that? What's that say? Exactly. I, you're moving it. No, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you can't tell. So I guess I would <laughs> give... What does it say? All right. I need a um, roll off, Ned. Turkeys. Yep. <laughs> I got fucking 20 on the die. Yep, that's you. I can read this die real well. With a 16, the turkeys will go last. <laughs> Willie, uh, you were up first. Hold action until a turkey comes out of the darkness. But it's I think it's encompassing the entire cave. Darkness is pretty big, right? How he big said is he the... centered it on the turkeys. Yeah. That are outside the cave? No, they're in the they're all the in the cave. cave. Yeah. Bessemay, how big is darkness? Twenty foot. A Fifteen foot sphere. That's pretty big. It's, but it's not it's huge. Like eight and a half feet? Yeah, but it's not it's not. The size of a cave where eight and a half five feet would be sleep. a seventeen foot spear. Seven and a half feet. What's the radius? Seven and a half feet. Okay, so it's like so the. Imagine a three by three grid of of squares. Yeah. If we had a. It's larger it's than the room I am in. currently in. If you if you took a Shaquille O'Neal and spun him in a gyroscope <laughs> until he made a spear, <laughs> two of him. Yeah, so I would say half of this cave is currently in darkness, because it's not a very big room. That I said it was the a half small, with it's a the cave turkeys at. in it. Yeah, the half with the turkeys in it. Yeah, so just so you know. Did I have a brain picture on where them turkeys were before darkness came all poopins? I mean, yeah, you saw them. You yelled at them. I'm running in and I'm gonna start slashing. All right, disadvantage on your attack, I guess, because you can't see. Yeah. First roll was a seven. The miss. Seven on the die? Or? Yeah, seven on the die. So it would have been a Three. 11. That would hit. Second roll was an 11. Ele- okay, so 11. Yeah, 11 hits. <clears throat> and I do... <sighs> Fucking hell. Four damage. Um, You feel as you just swing wildly in the darkness... Uh, you definitely make contact with a turkey, uh, and like it makes a and a splat noise, and you're pretty sure you've killed it, but you don't know because you can't see shit. I'm gonna use my bonus action to dash away. Okay. I don't think you can because you moved. I can yeah. because I have a totem of the eagle. Nice. Okay. Which uh, allows me to primal, use. Bro. Dash action as a bonus action nice. on your turn. Nice. Also, if I'm reading okay. this correctly, um, since I'm not wearing armor, yeah. creatures have disadvantage on a opportunity attack rolls against me. Disadvantage. They already have yeah. disadvantage because yeah. they're in darkness. They're in so darkness. They already have. Yeah. Yeah. But he dashed, so it's irrelevant. Sure. Okay. So you just pop right back out of the darkness. Yeah. Okay. Like an eagle. Gotcha. Dash um, doesn't change opportunity attacks. Really? Yeah, disengage uh, changes yes. opportunity attacks. So how many turkeys get 
Uh, I'll say. How many blind turkeys get AOS? Four blind turkeys. Double disadvantage. So, sorry for the blue falcon. <laughs> I just want to play by the rules. Don't here. work against the party, Steve. <laughs> Doesn't feel very good, does it, motherfucker? A botch. So a roll, botch. roll four dice and take the Hold lowest. Hold on. Yeah. He just double botched. Five. And. That's how the multiplication works. He kills right? himself. <laughs> they kill each other. <laughs> I don't want to live anymore. Oh. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, the one turkey. <laughs> He's Mickey Mouse turkey. The one turkey sensed that Willie had killed the turkey <sighs> next to it. And with all of its might and fury, just reels back as far as it can and drives its pecker <laughs> right into the next turkey and in doing so it actually breaks its own neck and kills that turkey so two turkeys die for the price of one. Could we see how many turkeys how, there were how before? Deep? Um, I would say How deep, how deep does he drive that pecker? About four <laughs> or five <laughs> inches. Enough to feel it. Wow. That's huge. Uh, is it? No, enough to feel it does not sound fun. I said enough to feel it. I didn't say it was enough to to have fun. Uh, you with know, the, the first death. two inches of the vagina are the most. <laughs> 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 it's really all you need. That's what I keep hearing. Um, and then the other turkey just oh. misses. I mean, all of them just miss. Then nothing hits you, Willie. Um, but you hear a oh. so you're guessing that something bad happened to a couple turkeys. Uh. I think I'm out of I was going to say, I yeah, think you're done. I'm done. <laughs> Best of me. Ooh, la, la. I rise to my feet. Okay. And I... You know, I, I, I do that thing where you kick dirt behind you before you run really fast. <laughs> okay. And I charge into the darkness. Okay. Lowering my horns. You have to lower them real low. I'm bowling for turkeys. Like bulldozing for turkeys. Yeah, I run on my hands and knees. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, disadvantage. But fast! Okay. I'm assuming it's an attack. He goes through the darkness. That's an at 20. Let's see what the bad one is. <laughs> the Holy shit, I rolled an at 20. Wow, <laughs> double double disadvantage. Wow. You'll pay for the that anti later. botch. Yeah. Man, these Norse foundry dice are great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, They're my favorite. <laughs> All right. Roll your damage. I do it. How long are your horns? A good three. As inches. long, long enough, baby. Long enough long for enough. her to feel it. So four inches. I rolled a one and a six. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Eleven. Uh, so you can't see anything, but you definitely feel as you just. You were charging on all fours as low to the ground as you could possibly get, which is not the easiest thing for you to do because of how your body is, you know, made up. But uh, you, you're you running as low as you can, as fast as you can. How low can you go? And you feel at least four different turkeys just <laughs> onto your horns. Can you go nice. down low? And all of a sudden you burst out the other side of the darkness out of the cave. Wait, was the cave on the side of a mountain? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And you're just out in the night sky with four turkeys stuck Howling to your head. At the moon. I found dinner, honey. <laughs> uh, then it'll be heck. How long does darkness last? Is it a concentration or Until is it a time? It's stopped, I think. I think it's concentration. Stand by. Like I'll a tell minute. You. If it's concentration, then the attack. Up to 10 minutes. Concentration. But is it, but is it concentration? So if you attack, is your concentration over? It's only. No, only if you, only take you cast damage. another spell or, yeah, take damage, I think. Did no turkeys have AOOs on him when he charged through all of them? Uh, no, because of the, the, the attack. I, I don't know. I'm not Because really... he charged. Got he it. He charged yeah. through them. He made yeah. a tour charged. Yep. Yeah. He didn't <laughs> escape them. So I'm allowing it. Yep. For flavor. Mm-hmm. Heck. How many are left? You don't know. It's dark. Oh, wait. You can see. I can That's see. Right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Uh, it looks like 11 turkeys. You don't know. You can't uh, count. 11 turkeys. <laughs> That's right. Real quick. You forgot your uh, counting module. Of, real quick, an attack of opportunity requires sight. Oh, shit. Cool, you can fuck go. turkeys. You have to be able to see. Cool. So that one shouldn't have killed the other one. Play has <laughs> so. progressed. Play has progressed. It's fine. Uh, there are 11 turkeys. <laughs> turkeys attacking. attack by sin. <laughs> All right. Would, are they kind of grouped together? Uh, yeah. 
I'm going to cast Shatter right in the middle of them. What does that do? A sudden loud ringing noise, painfully intense, erupts from the point of your choice within range. Ding! Each creature in a 10-foot radius sphere centered on that point must make a con check. Eel. Ch- con Eel. saving throw. What? A con saving throw, is that what you said? Mm-hmm. I'm just going to roll one. Start singing about Dominic the Donkey. Okay. Uh, they don't. They don't? No. So they take 3d8 thunder damage. Well, they're all fucking dead. How far out also, is it, it going to hit all of them, probably? Oh, probably. It's 10 foot radius. If Does it hit you together. guys, too? No, I'm not within 10 feet. You said it was a 16 something foot cave. I'm okay. back. Okay. So maybe just Besame. I'm out the other side. So. You know what? Besame, high low. Fucker. Oh. <laughs> low. You are just outside of the range. Oh, so. Just a bit outside. Just a bit outside. Too high. Too high. So, too too high. so each creature takes three d eight. So do you want to just me to do one roll for all of them? Sure. Make my life. Twenty four. No. Um. Twelve. Okay. What kind of damage is this again? Thunder damage. Th- okay. Uh. So. No one else can see the really cool thing that's going on right now. So you you cast your point Story in the middle of everything. And these like ripples, these sound ripples are going out. And you notice that the turkeys' heads are starting to spasm and their eyeballs explode out of their heads all in synchro like it's synchro synchronicity. Just all around. And turkey. <laughs> the eyeballs explode out. <laughs> And then their heads just explode in half, and their brains fly forward against the wall, and all the turkeys drop dead Did instantly. Nev get covered in turkey guts? Uh, no, oh. no one's on that side of the wall. Bye, 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 turkeys. In sync. No, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Let's try. And then all the turkeys are dead. And as you've left a complete killing of the turkeys. That is what we're going to call it. So thanks for tuning in. Check you think us out next that time. God let them turkeys loose, or you think them turkeys got loose by themselves? They didn't let themselves out of the cage, that's for sure, and he threatened you. I mean, you ain't wrong. The turkeys Who put that war paint on them. <laughs> they did appear to have agency, though. They were they coordinated. They wanted you dead. They wanted Willie. I mean. Are you saying that I'm correct and that the future turkeys are trying to come? That is not what I'm saying at all. Oh. You. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Reddit, and Twitch at Botch Podcast. This episode of Botch was brought to you by the Patreon producers, the OG Lone Ranger, Big Jim, The Nuck, Lord Chronic, Skinner, B Mel, God King Shanda Panda, Turkey Her, Disgruntled Furniture, Chris Wisdom, Lost Limey, Scabby Goose, Zucari, and Bread 2287. And if you can't turkey her, gobble her. You want to support the show financially and have <laughs> your name read at the every at the end of every episode of Botch Podcast, you can head on over to freedomvalleyhorsepace.com, dickblood.me, dickblood.club, cornhub.icu, sexwithwookies.com, uh. pigrickets.com, mookmulk.com, or simply patreon.com slash botch podcast. It's funny because we dropped mulk. As a joke now, it's over, but we have a domain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you remember where Sex with Wookies came from? I don't, I don't think I was there for that, but it's fucking or hot. Dickblood.club? <laughs> Thank slime. you! I made this for botched only for your support on patreon.com slash botch podcast. That's amazing. You want to support the show but can't do it financially? Then head on over to whatever device you are listening to us on and leave us a five star review iTunes, Spotify, uh, Grubhub, Yelp. It doesn't matter. Leave us a review, and old Chunky Kong will read it in a silly voice. Yourbomb.com. Thank you to Gozer for intro and outro music. More of them all over the internet at Gozer underscore music, or simply, they are on Spotify. Listen to them. Support them. Their album should be out at some point. Any day. (laughs) Thank you to Emily Swan for album art. You can find her all over the internet at a swan named Emily. 
you want to send something to the studio, you can do so over at P.O. Box 3178, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. I hope it's 17325, and we'll open it up here on stream. Love you, Swan. And as always... When the turkeys are lurky, but you make their sight murky, then put in the worky and make some turkey jerky. We'll stream botched. And, and you can have some turkey. <laughs> we'll see you next week, nerds. Stick around, Chad. I've got a song for you. It's really great. You can support each of us in our own little different ways. My first comic book has come out, and if you'd like to purchase it, you can head on over to www.hiveheadstudios.com, where you can even download a free sample of the book to see if it's something, you know, up your alley. Uh, you can also support me over at patreon.com slash hiveheadstudios. You can support Steve's stuff over at YouTube or TikTok or any of his other social media at he who is Steve. You can support Phil on Patreon or Twitch at Imaginary Nomad. You can support Jen by checking out her other podcasts like Horse Girls and all your podcatchers. You can also check her out on social media or Twitch at Jenna Chill, chill with one L. And you can check out Chonky every so often on Twitch at Chonky underscore Kong. <laughs> the fuck is that weird little <laughs> noise? <laughs> Bill started laughing like a son of a bitch as soon as I inhaled. <laughs> Jesus. It's not like we're going into a tunnel and you're holding your breath through the tunnel. It's five fucking seconds. Wait, is that seconds. how you save your life by going through a tunnel? No, it's just an old game used to play. Y'all don't hold Pittsburgh. your breath and pick your feet up off the floor. That's a rail. That's, that's a railroad. That's for graveyards. Okay. So the, okay, the ghosties Dennis. can't grab your toes. <laughs>